people now know a limited knowledge, a Eurocentric knowledge, knowledge that distorts, that makes less of the crimes of the Europeans, less of the accomplishments of our people, less of our ownership of this continent. Some know of Wounded Knee where 300 more or less were killed than Sand Creek where another 300 more or less were killed. But we all need to know of Tenochtitlan where 10,000 warriors in unarmed rituals were killed at the hands of dishonorable Europeans. Cajamarca where 7,000 unarmed warriors were killed at the savage hands of cowardly Europeans. Tlaxcala, where 6,000 unarmed warriors were killed with a pretense of peace at the hands of immoral, unethical, savage Europeans. I am still learning every day of crimes committed against my people. I am still learning of accomplishments that we made, of archeological sites discovered, of our art that has been found, I now know of our great cities, Tenochtitlan, Tlaxcala, and Cholula, all of which were larger than any city in Europe. I now know we ran an education system in Tenochtitlan that had the first free and mandatory schools for everyone, male and female. And we think our people don't like education. We were a people of science of hard work, of genius, of discipline. We have superior knowledge of astronomy, mathematics, the calendar, medicine, surgery, anatomy, pharmacology, botany, and a theology that was a science that was a pure love of our creator. All of these accomplishments we did in form superior to anything the Europeans had in 1492. Yes, we had cities, cities larger than those of Europe, and our cities were cleaner than those of the cities of Europe, with universities, hospitals, public restrooms, and a marketplace larger than any found in Europe in 1492. Unlike what we have been taught, the majority of our population on this continent was urban, living in large cities, large towns, and located mostly in the south of this continent. The small minority of our people were tribal and located mostly in the north. But we were one people. We are one people. One nation, one race, united by culture, by languages, by our collective history, and by our collective ownership of this land, of this continent. We're the Mexica Movement. We're an indigenous rights educational organization for people of Mexican, Central American, Native American, First Nation, and all Nicantlaca indigenous people of the Western Hemisphere. And what we want to share with you is something that we hope will give you pride, meaning this pilgrimage uh, that will be into the heart of Anahuac, beginning in what is called Jalisco or Xalisco and going into the area of Yucatan and, and into Chiapas and everywhere in between. And with this video, we want to give you an introduction to the beauty of our heritage. We want to give you an introduction to something that we hope will change your life. Our goal in our operation is to educate the world, our people, on our history, on who we once were prior to the European invasion what we accomplished prior to the European invasion and the genocide that was initiated by the Europeans as they invaded and trespassed onto our continent. So that's what we do because that's what we see that's the most important part in all this is the education element. And fortunately, in these last past 20 years, an abundance of information has been generated, has been investigated and, and put forth, um, written into books that um, share with us of who we once were. We got to have access to this information and we got to give it its proper importance. So that's where 
where we see ourselves at the moment spearheading it, and that is the dissemination of our of our history um sharing people the books that that are out there that that document the accomplishments of our ancestors and the other books that document the genocide the torture the the, the rape so and this is what we do at our lectures introduce these books and get into dialogues of of what we've discussed on what these books have to to share with us um, so that's what we do at our lectures and protest these past two years we've been out there protesting against the white supremacists who have had the audacity to call our people foreigners criminals within the boundaries of what is now called the US and our response to that is we're not the illegals they are the illegals they belong in Europe we would be illegals if we would be in Europe or in Africa or in China. But we as indigenous people, as Mexican, Central American descent people, we have the right to travel, to migrate within our continent, as well as our Native American and First Nations people do. And we've been taking this, this message to these protests, and to, as well as the marches that have been going on, these very historical marches that started off about approximately two years ago on March 25th and was followed by the boycott of May 1st. We were um, present there with these messages and um, and it felt good to be able to share this message with our people and the, the little media attention that we got and which meant that a broader audience got to, to receive this message. That's what we do at the protests. And uh, not only we'll now go on to explaining like what we've done when we've initiated pro boycotts against the traders. Well, the, the traders are the people who promote this Hispanic Latino agenda. The, the traders are the people who uh, figure out how to destroy our people by promoting the gangs or the violence in our community or promoting materialism or even promoting new age. Uh, promoting a uh, uh, cult, promoting all these pendejadas that are out there in our community. They need to know about their past. That's why we're taking you into this pilgrimage into the heart of Anahuac, to understand how beautiful our past is, not just to the eye, but to the intellect, to the heart, to the soul of who we are as a people. So here we are in front of this sacred site where we finish actually our pilgrimage into the heart of Anahuac and we'd like you to see the videos that follow after this so you can see the beginning of our pilgrimage into the heart of Anahuac. We're planting seeds through the internet since that's kind of the, the new communication tool for the world that's where this is being uh, disseminated. So this is uh, the classroom this is the, the inspiration for you. This is uh, the guidance for you. This is uh, something that we hope will get you to see things that you were not able to if see it, before. If it means you just concentrate on your family, that's a good, good start. But from there, try to work on some people in the neighborhood. Share the materials with them. Share the, 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 the ideas you know, that you've picked up. Maybe they don't want to read the, the website. Maybe they don't want to read the books. Show them some videos. Okay, invite them over to your house uh, uh, for a party. You know, a, 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 a party of knowledge to discuss identity. Why we're not Hispanic or Latino? To discuss the basic, you know, heritage of our people, going back to the Olmecs and talking about the Mayas and talking about the Mexica and talking about Teotihuacan, and then talking about the genocide that killed 95 percent of our people and how we're five percent. That have survived. St take some actions, intelligent actions, like being part of the work that we're doing here with Machica Movement. Meaning, okay, at least go to the website, read the material there. If you have a little bit more courage, come and join the, the, the work that we're doing. It's a lot of work. And if, you, if you're nowhere able to uh, be able to do the work with us, pass out the information to your friends, your family, share that knowledge.